Now we're up to our long distance dedication. And this one is from a young man in Canada whose life has begun like a bad dream. He writes, Dear Casey, I had a cousin named Sean who was a year older than me. Since neither of us had a brother, we became very close. In 1976, I was living in Nova Scotia and Sean in Ontario. Then one day I received some bad news. Sean had left home one night that winter, sat down on a snowbank, and shot himself. I don't know why he did it. No one does. I felt his death was my fault since I wasn't there when he needed me. I've also thought of suicide a few times. Why? Well, my mom died when I was 16, and I've been on my own since I was 18. Life hasn't been easy. For two years, I lived on the streets. With no home, I hitchhiked across the country depending on churches and hostels for food. Some nights I'd be very cold. Other nights, I slept in the rain. Recently, I was sentenced to 10 years in prison for a crime I will never forgive myself for. I've lost all my friends except two, and I've lost my family. The feelings of shame and guilt are very hard to handle. Should I end it all this time? I think not. First, my two friends would be deeply hurt if I killed myself. Secondly, when I get out of prison, I have a challenge to look forward to, of finding a job, making a new home, and trying to get married. What you have to do is pull up your metal socks and say, Onward. I'd like to make a suggestion to anybody who feels they can't hang in. Call the operator, ask her to connect you with the local suicide prevention center, or go to the hospital and talk to a doctor or to a church and talk to a priest. There are people out there who care, and they'll help. Casey, would you please play something that talks about the joy of being alive? Signed, a friend in Canada, Eric E. White. Well, Eric, you won't be hearing this on the air because when we called to verify your letter, we learned the center in London, Ontario, to the prison in Kingston, where American Top 40 isn't being broadcast at the moment. But you will hear it, because we'll be sending you and Kara the Warden a copy of the show. Eric, here's your long-distance dedication.
from the summer of 1980. That's the Electric Light Orchestra, ELO, with I'm Alive, a long-distance dedication from Eric serving a prison term in Canada who still insists on celebrating the joy of being alive. And the countdown continues on American Top 40. It's from coast to coast. Now...